Hello everyone and welcome to another Motivation Monday. Hope everyone had a great weekend and has been mindset or focused on the week ahead, whatever goals you plan to achieve. Hope you achieve it, take it one step at a time. Maybe you should start taking notes so you could make sure at the end of the week you could go back and check and make sure you did everything that you set out to do. Um, today, I want to talk about red flags. Whether it's family members, friends, a lo- you know, a lover, husband, a wife, whatever. Oftentimes, we see red flags and we don't want to believe it. We try to think, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe they didn't mean it this way. Maybe they didn't mean it that way. And then the flags keep coming. But, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So oftentimes you see things after the fact. And more often than not, you see things when you're not the one in the position and you're looking at it from the outside and it's happening to someone else. And you're like, oh, my God, can they see this? But the person who is happening to, that's the last person to see it because they're so caught up, whether it's in love, as I say, whether it's relationship-wise or whether it's even family members. Like, let's say you have a family member that always borrows money from you but never pays back. And you keep giving them chances after chances. And you're like, well, they did say they're going to pay me back this time. Well, they did say they didn't give me because they didn't get paid. And every time to pay you, they have a different story. But they keep coming for another loan because wherever they were supposed to get the money from, they didn't get it. They didn't get paid this week. Next week, they didn't get paid either. And they need transportation to go to work. And they need food and they need something for work and the excuses and they need money on a phone, you know, whether it's a phone card or a phone bill because they need a phone on because they're supposed to get called out for a job if they don't work permanently. And the list keeps going on and you keep putting out and putting out and putting out with no end in sight. Because you don't want to see the flags. You don't want to see because you want to believe You know, you want to see the good in people. And I myself, I'm very guilty of this. You want to see the good in people. So you tend to ignore the signs and you're like, no, probably they, for case in point, someone is being really aggressive and nasty to you. And you're like, oh, maybe they're just having a bad day. But they do that every time you talk to them. Oh, maybe this happened today. Or maybe that happened today. Or maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. You understand? Or someone would be mean to you in the sense of you can't ask any questions, but they think that they're entitled to know every move you make, everyone you talk to, whatever the case may be, but you can't ask them any questions whatsoever. That's a no-no. In the rule book, that's a no-no, number 675. Okay? So pay attention to the flags. If it will be better for you, write it down. Take notes, dates, times. So you can look back at it and realize it's a pattern. It's a pattern. Somebody asking for money. Somebody coming up for all the, with all the excuses why they didn't do something. Or for instance, someone have a reason why every time you would message them or call them, they can't answer you. But when you see the person, they're always with their phone. They're always on their phone. But for some reason, they always miss your calls and your messages and the excuses keep coming, especially when money is involved. When it's time to pay back, there's always a reason why they can get on to you, some excuse. But you see them on social media or whatever, having a wonderful time, but they can pay you back because they have no money to pay you. You understand me? Or as I said, every time you see them, they're with their phone, they're on their phone, but you're blowing up their phone to get onto them for something that's important, but they're not responding to you because they don't want to, because they don't consider you important. You may consider them important. You may be wondering if they ate, if this happened, if that happened, if you don't hear from them, you're wondering if they're sick. They're quite well, having a wonderful time, ignoring you. But you don't want to believe that somebody could be so evil, so selfish, and whatnot. Pay attention to the signs they're there and as i say if you have to write it down write it down 
Because sometimes at the moment it might look as much and then looking back at it long after all the pieces of the puzzle start coming together. Because each situation when it happens, you have it in your mind as its own separate, you know, situation. But if you add everything together, the puzzle pieces is all coming up to make the big picture that you don't want to see. You know what I mean? And you want to pretend that it's, let's say, um, a bottle of soda when it's a bottle of poison. Because you don't want to believe that someone will be so callous. You know what I mean? So, um, take off the, um, you know, rose-colored glasses, so to speak, and see things for what they are and cut people loose that is not serving a purpose in your life. And a lot of times you don't want to cut people loose because you think it's going to be mean and you think this person needs me and you're trying to be there for people that don't appreciate you. They don't appreciate you. They don't respect you. They don't respect your time. Because while you're messaging or calling someone to find out if they ate, if they got to work, if this, if that, they're ignoring you because you're not important. But you know when you're important? You're important when they needed money to go to work. You're important when they needed money to go to the supermarket. You were important when they needed money on their phone. But when you want to speak to them, you're not important because it's nothing that they're gaining. The only time it's important for them to talk to you is when they need something from you. You understand? And as I say, it doesn't have to be a, a lover. It could be a family. It could be a friend. You could only hear from this friend when she needs you to babysit. You know what I mean? You could only hear from this friend when she needs a loan. She wants you to go with her somewhere to play lookout, security guard, whatever. But you cannot hear from her when you're in need. You're not feeling well. You're not able to cook today and you want to know if she can bring you a bowl of soup or whatever. You cannot hear from her, but you could hear from her when she needs something. She wants to know if you cook so she could get some food. You understand what I'm saying? Be very careful and pay attention. Pay attention and cut people off if they need to be cut off and cut your losses. Because I've heard people say, I'm not going to leave this situation or that situation because I've invested so much. You staying longer, it's not going to change anything. You're just investing some more. You know what I mean? You're just investing more in something that's not going to um, materialize into nothing that's beneficial to you. So if you invest in six months in something that's not going nowhere, investing another six is another six you're going to waste. You're thinking, I've put in six already, so I might as well. No, you're looking at it the wrong way. You wasted six months on something that's going nowhere. You're going to waste another six months that could be doing something else. It's not going to get any better. Certain situations are just what it is. And as I said, I think it was last week. If early in a scenario you could see how something is looking early up in the game, it doesn't get any better. Someone shows you their best behavior normally at first and then gradually things might change in their life. And you might be able to, you know, see the paradigm shift and be able to say, this person used to be so nice, you know, six months ago or a year ago. But since they lost their job, they have been acting this way. Which really is no excuse, but you try to be understanding. But who's trying to be understanding to you and your feelings? Meanwhile, in a lot of these cases, the person has been like that from the early part of the situation where there's a friendship or relationship whatever they have shown you their colors early up but you just don't want to believe what you're seeing and you're like no maybe i'm taking it wrong maybe and then they try to flip it on you as well and have you you know second guess in your own self because they're like no you're too sensitive you're too this you're too that you're insecure you're this you're that whatever the situation may be no you're not that is reverse psychology and their way of flipping the script on you because they don't want to, to take, you know, the blame for something that's their fault. So the best thing they could do is turn it around on you. Somebody, you catch someone in a lie and you call them out on it and say, but 
you're doing this today didn't you say yesterday that you was doing something totally opposite then they get an attitude with you because you caught them in a lie do you understand this those people don't need to be in your life because if a liar could also be a thief if you if you follow the dots a liar could also be a thief because the same how you could lie for things that are really not important. The same how if you take some belonging to me and I ask you if you take it, you tell me no. Because you're lying for nothing at all. For things that's not even worth lying for. You're just coming up with lies for no particular reason. And then when you get busted in a lie, you're mad. Or like someone who borrows your money, tell you they don't have it, and then you see them with a shopping bag. Then they have an attitude because you caught them shopping while they're owing you money that you need to pay a bill or do something important with while they're out shopping or partying and putting up the pictures on social media and the video footage with them popping bottles while they're owing you money and you needed to pay a bill. You understand me? So see things for what they are. Accept it for what it is. Cut your losses. You're not going to get back that time and energy, but put in more into it. It's not going to make sense. Okay? Is fighting a losing battle. Look out for the flags. Collect the flags. Make a bonfire. Burn them up and move on. Life is too short to be miserable and wasting energy on people who don't appreciate it and have no respect for you. No respect for your feelings. No respect for your time. No respect for you as a person. Because as I was saying about a loan, if someone knows that you're Let's say, for instance, you, you're not working. You have money, but it's money enough to live off of, you know, whatever little stipend, whatever you're getting. And someone could borrow your money and then have an attitude when you say, you said you was going to give it back to me two months ago. Now I'm two months behind on something. Could I get my money? They're mad at you. Okay? And have you wondering if maybe you overreacting? No, you're not. They, that's, dis, that's disrespectful in itself because they have no respect for you enough to say, I can't do this to this person. They have you down as a chump and a walkover. Those type of people, you don't need them in, their, in your life. Cut your losses, block who you have to block, delete who you got to delete, and move on. You're missing nothing. They're going to be missing something because they have you as, you know, someone they could come use whenever they feel like, ignore when they want to, disrespect, whether it's by words or actions, and then whenever they need you again, they come back to you. You know what I mean? You can't keep accepting this nonsense. Cut your losses. It may hurt for a minute. If it's family, you're like, oh my God, I can't stop talking to my sister. I can't do this to my brother. I can't do this to my cousin. But they have no problem doing it to you. If it's a relationship, Oh, I can't break up with him. He's going to be so hurt. He said, if I, if I break up with him, he's going to take his life. Let him take his life. That's not your fault. You're not responsible for his life. You're responsible for yours. So you're going to stay miserable in a relationship to make someone else happy. Whether, as I said, it's a friendship, a lover, whatever. You're going to stay in a situation because you don't want to hurt somebody, but they have no problem hurting you. They have no problem being mean, rude, disrespectful to you disregarding your feelings but you're worried about them worry about yourself and your sanity your peace of mind you understand and have respect for yourself and love yourself because if you don't they sure as hell won't because they're looking at it like this person doesn't care about themselves they don't do this they don't do that they don't do whatever i could do them whatever i want to and when i come back to them and say i'm sorry they're gonna accept me I could not pay them back the loan, and two months later, I'm going to come crying to them. They're going to feel sorry for me and give it to me. I've heard people say things like that already. Oh, don't worry about them. I know, you know, I'm going to get whatever from them anyway. They're going to be upset, but I could still get whatever from them. That is so sad. On your part, it's horrible for them as a person that they could use someone like that and boast about it and brag about it. But it's horrible for you that you're allowing yourself to be used. Because people could only do what you allow. People keep coming to you to use you. 
And then when they don't need you for anything, they discard you. And then when they need you again, your phone will be blowing up. Change your number, block them, do what you gotta do. Okay? Self-preservation is key. You can't take care of no one if you're neglecting yourself. I mean, you could, but that's not the way to go. The first thing you should be doing is taking care of yourself. Leaving yourself undone for people who are ungrateful does not make any sense at the end of the day. And when you get burnt enough, you would realize. And when you stop doing, people would say how mean you are because they cannot walk over you anymore because you're ready to stand up for yourself. You're going to be the mean person who doesn't have a heart. You, it's not going to be you're the person that heart gets trampled on and you had enough and you're not helping anybody because everyone comes around and say, Oh, I can't believe this person did this to you and they do the same thing and worse. So at what point are you going to say, I can't put up with this no more? I don't want to take the chance because certain actions this person is portraying to me right now is reminding me of something else. And they will turn it on you and say, oh, you don't, you're, you're comparing me to someone else and that's why you treated me like this. If it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck. It has a yellow beak and white feathers. Chances are, there's a high, you know, possibility, it's a duck. So you're not going to wait for the duck to chase you around. You know what I mean? You already can see it's a duck by all this, the signs. So it's the same thing. If you've been through a situation before, and that same person is coming right back and bringing back that same situation to you, you've seen it so many times replaying, like an old movie, you know the steps. So when you see step one, two, you know three is coming because that's the pattern. So if you safeguard yourself and say, I'm not going to allow this to happen to me. Now you're the mean person because you're assuming. You're assuming based on this person's previous patterns. People have patterns whether they believe it or not. They're not even aware sometimes that it's that obvious. They have patterns. They have the same thing they do. They have the same lines they use. And when they want to get out of a situation, they flip the script on you and say you're overreacting, you're too sensitive, and all the rest of it. Okay? But better to be at peace and alone with no friends, no relatives, no boyfriend, no whatever, than be miserable just to have company. You'll be, you'll be doing yourself the biggest injustice ever in the long run. So stay to yourself for a minute. Gather yourself. Work on yourself. Heal from whatever situation and let the chips fall where they may. Everyone else would make out quite fine because before they met you, you came into your life by whichever way, they was making out somehow. But all of a sudden they can't make out and they always come into you with their problems. You have your own problems, but guess what? Nobody cares. So you got to care. Okay? So that's all I have to say for today. All who at work, hope you get home safe. Who's off today, enjoy your day off. Okay, enjoy your, your week ahead. Hope is positive, productive, and peaceful. See you in the next video. Smooches. Want me tell them, send me fuel up. No need the gas, not petroleum. I'm still living and breathing as the only one.